Thanks very much. Um, in the last segment, we were talking to you about what we made, and this is this yogurt parfait with strawberries. We're going to tell you what it tastes like later, but we're back with Danny Markowitz, Brad Smith. Lovely to see you guys again. Tell us about what the next item is that you're going to make. These are brunch items that, you know, little tips, yeah. little quick things that we, you can make at home. Absolutely. So next we're going to make um, basically like a potato roasty almost, but we're going to bake it instead and serve it with smoked salmon and dill. We're going to make creme fraiche. Really nice. West Coast favorites. Come on, you come to BC, you have to have smoked salmon. Absolutely, right? potato, creme fraiche, smoked salmon, can't go wrong. Let's do it. For sure. So now, it's, this is raw potato. This is raw potato. It works best, but it's soaked in water because water with potatoes is your friend because it keeps it from going oxidizing, going all brown. So we've got some shredded potato. We'll grate a little bit more. Brad, you want to make some creme fraiche? For sure, love to. Fantastic. So Brad's going to add the uh, the buttermilk, cream into the bowl, whisk it up. We're going to put it in a mason jar, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. How long does he need to whisk this? Just so it's combined. Just so your forearm starts really <laughs> yeah, burning. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've got Brad doing. <laughs> it's a good little workout for you. Exactly. It's Almost already there. starting Almost to burn. <laughs> so while you're working on grating sure. the potato, Brad, why don't you tell us how things are going at Chop Canada? Oh, it's great. Uh, taking over a show like that, obviously it's going into its third season. We've already had a couple shows air. The response is tremendous. And for me, being a food lover in general, and to be around the best chefs in Canada, it was really kind of cool. The only negative thing was that when we filmed the entire series, I ate pretty much everything that came out, and I ended up gaining like 27 pounds. Oh, you look oh, great. I wouldn't worry about it too much. What are your three favorite items so far coming out of the menus that you've had? Oh my God, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about it, but we had fried chicken on one of the teen episodes. Sweet. A 15 year old girl from Montreal cooked the best fried chicken I've ever had. And to be very uh, honest with you, our teen chefs were some of the best, uh, they produced some of the best food that we had in the entire show, which just shows you the next generation of Absolutely. Canadian cooks is gonna be so talented because they got guys and girls. Whisk, keep whisking. Okay, like whisk. Danny yep. to mentor from. Guys are great, you can transfer it in there. You're a good liar. <laughs> okay, so now what do you... So the potato is just coming out of the water. Why are you putting it in there? Because the water now is not your friend. Okay. You want the water out so that the potato is actually brown. Okay. So now, Danny, I put this... Yeah, now you want to just put like a, a tea towel over top and let it sit at room temperature. So basically the bacterial culture in the buttermilk will have the whipping cream... Overnight? Overnight, yeah. And then you put it into the fridge after it's, after it's turned into creme fraiche and there you've got thickened creme fraiche. You can take a, take a peek, yeah, Love for sure. It. And I like the fact that you're using a muffin oh, wow. tin to make all of this too. Yeah, everything you've got at home, for yeah, sure, right? Yeah, exactly, it's easy. I mean, for this you could use sour cream, but creme fraiche is nice and it's, it's fun to learn how to make it. And it, it's a bit lighter than, than sour cream too, which is nice. Yeah. So this is now done. Okay, now the Potatoes what? are all dry, which is nice. We've got nice sh shredded potato. Oh wow. Beautiful. And then we're going to just add a little oil. Oil. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, of course. And then it's gonna mix. A little mixy mix. Mix, and then. How many potatoes do you need to make for 12 people? For this tray, uh, probably one and a half potatoes, two potatoes. If you do, if you do Three two. Three potatoes more? <laughs> if you grate two, you'll be good to go. <laughs> and again, fried is, is great, but. Do you need to oil the pan at all? Well, there's oil in here. So okay. a little, little spray is, is fine, and it just helps them release a bit easier. And then you just put a little bit of potato into the pan. And then you just want to just like form, it up. form it up. It'll come up the sides a little bit. Do you want me to go get anything from the oven at all? We're going to pop these in. <laughs> or open the oven? We're gonna, that would be fantastic. <laughs> and these are just going to hold their shape and become these little, these little cups. They're going to hold the smoked salmon later. And the oven's at 350 again? The oven's at 350. Everything's 350. Well, it's, it's for ease, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So you, you don't want to go too hot or these, these will burn. Okay. Got it. Fantastic, thanks. Got it. And because we have the power of television, Absolutely. we already have these done. Fantastic. They so look beautiful. These are nice, right? So they, they've these have been allowed to cool. And now these these little cups that are perfect for holding. And how long did you say again in the oven at 350? This is gonna take about 25 or 30 minutes. To get you wanna just and brown. Yeah, and you can go lower temperature. Sometimes all ovens are different. So sometimes it's 325, sometimes it's 350. Beautiful. It just depends. And we'll just pop them here. Throw the salmon in yeah, now, salmon or? In. Sure, I mean, this is one of those great things too. These can be made the day, a day ahead, yeah. cooled, and you can build these as you're getting your brunch organized, and then it's part of that cold food preparation, and it's really easy, quick. These will go in here, we'll add some dill, some creme fraiche, and we're good to go. Okay, you wanna throw in a couple so we can I, see what I they look like? I would love to. Yeah. Sure, Brad, go ahead. I just kinda the wanna dill on top bypass of the, the roasty and put this in my mouth. Beautiful, right? 
There are just a couple of steps to finish this off, but we're going to come back after a break and we're going to send it back to the Hard Rock Theater.